It's called the largest AI convention in the world, and it's in our own backyard. Dreamforce kicks off tomorrow at the Moscone Center. About 45,000 attendees looking for ways to incorporate and navigate the world of AI. As for the local economy, it means big-time money, and there's nothing artificial about that. NBC's Terry McSweeney joins us now in the city. Terry, a lot of parties and a lot of traffic coming our way. You got that right. I mean, I am standing on 4th Street at Howard Street. This is no place to be standing most nights, but tonight it's safe because the lanes closed, the barriers are up and over here. This is Howard Street. You, you wouldn't even recognize it because it's completely blocked off. Not a car can go on it. People, of course, at this conference aren't worried about traffic. They're worried about how to make AI the future for all of us. Level up your work with Agent Force build and customize autonomous AI agents. That's the message for the 45,000 people attending Dreamforce 2024 tomorrow through Thursday at San Francisco's Moscone Center. They've come from all over the world. You get to meet your peers who are from the same uh, domain and they can share their experience. You can talk to them. You can learn from their experience. Salesforce's Dreamforce conference this year is all about AI, specifically about using tech to create your personalized AI agent. I'm excited to see the roadmap that's coming from Salesforce. I'm excited to see a lot of the partner network that they have and the different tools that are part of that partner network that they're launching. Salesforce says Dreamforce 2024 will mean $90 million to the San Francisco economy. Some of that going to hotels, of course, but some of it going to restaurants like the Grove, just one block from Moscone Center. <laughs> Let's just say that the, the, the great thing about Dreamforce is from the minute we open to the minute we close, we're busy. This conference is an absolute boon for San Francisco businesses, each of the 45,000 people in attendance, paying between $1,500 and $2,500 just to be here. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff last year mentioned he might move this conference out of San Francisco if the city didn't clean up its act in the area near Moscone. Reminds me of, of how it used to be um, many years ago. And uh, it's wonderful to see the streets clean, uh, a law enforcement presence, and uh, so many people out. Salesforce today also announcing it's contributing $23 million to train the AI workforce of the future. And some of that money is going to San Francisco and Oakland schools. We think about it through the lens of how are we partnering with these districts and our nonprofits on this journey? And what is our commitment to AI skilling and preparing them for a future that right now everyone's learning? And I should mention, it is not just tech and artificial intelligence here at the Moscone Center, folks. We, Mark Benioff has decided to put in a Dreamforce National Park. Yes, he's got the sign up there. He's got the rainbow colors. We've also got a bear to show you. Yes, there's a bear here at the Dreamforce National Park, and there's more than that. There's also a concert coming up at Oracle Park. Was going to be Elton John. He canceled and said they're going to have pink and imagine dragons. Not bad. Live in San Francisco, Terry McSweeney, NBC Barry News. Okay, thank you very much, Terry.